What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another ARC video and today we are starting on our Rexes. So as you know, we have... Wait. Okay, so uh, this is this is extremely confusing. The majority of this video is actually already filmed before. Like I, I recorded it a couple days ago, but now I have to do the intro because I didn't actually plan on recording. So let me kind of explain. Um... <clears throat> So a couple days ago, I went out to start making the Thyla video, which I think will be the previous video. I'm not actually sure. Um, but I went out to tame a whole bunch of Thylas and make that video. But while I was doing that, I came across a ton of high level Rexes and I didn't want to let them, you know, I, I, I wanted to tame them while I saw them there. So I, that's what I did. I tamed them. And that's going to be the majority of this video. <laughs> my, my friend just messaged me on Steam. So if you hear all that Steam notification, that's, that's a... Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> God, what a, pe what a piece. If you hear Steam, that's my Steam. I just put on Do Not Disturb, so you shouldn't hear it anymore. But, <laughs> God, what a jerk. Uh, what was I saying? So I went out to go tame a whole bunch of Thylas, and while I was doing that, I ran into all those Rexes. I wanted to tame them then and there, so I didn't lose them, or they didn't get themselves killed. So that's what you're about to see. Um, but I have to record the intro to this video many days after I actually did that. So I, I don't actually remember exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, I tamed a whole bunch of Rexes. I'm going to roll that for you now. And then I'll, I'm going to do a whole bunch of explaining um, after whatever, you, whatever the last clip in that like whole taming thing is. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. So I have no idea if this is even going to work, but I'm going to currently try and knock out this low level Rex because when you do mutations, you should always... If you're gonna go crazy with it, you should get a low level creature so you can breed in the low level stats. And I'm currently recording this while I'm taming up the Thylas, which I'm sure is gonna be a video that I've already made, but I just stumbled across this Rex. So I'm recording this now and hopefully I'll remember to put this clip in the Rex video. So I just wanted to kind of explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I didn't trap this guy cause, or girl because I figured I'd be able to knock it out pretty quick. And it looks like we did it. We got it in a good spot. But yeah. So now I'm going to ruin its taming effectiveness. So let's go right here. Put the gun away. Let's actually put on the visor. Helena, you need me to say hello to you? Hey. Yeah, but you can see I'm not actually recording me doing all the... I recorded the first three dialers. I mean, if you've seen the video, then you would know. But so I'm recording all the rest of them. And then I stumbled across this Rex. So let's make sure there's nothing around here because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to land for a little bit. Um, and I, I let me actually make sure I'm recording because I have a different screen pulled up. Uh, yeah, I am okay. So now I'm gonna ruin its taming effectiveness so I can get. I want it to be the lowest level and have the worst stats. So I'm just gonna give it some punches. Got to make sure I'm not gonna kill it. Let me just give it a whole bunch of punches. Because when I breed in the lower level stats, like the, I'll breed in, it'll be stuff like movement speed, because that doesn't matter, and oxygen, because that doesn't matter. And then you could also do like food. I don't know. I don't think dinos have water. And that'll actually bring down the overall level of the creature, which means you can have a high, like you can, uh, you'll have, you'll be able to put more points into the stats that you care about, because the stats that you don't care about, you have worst, like the least amount of points in them as possible. That's the easiest way I can explain it right now. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna ruin this this girl's taming effect effectiveness, and then I'm just gonna tame it up. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I will, um, remember to put this in the video, and you guys enjoy, uh, whatever I am doing in the video, which I would assume is taming up some Rexes. Alright, so it's me again. Um, this is so crazy, because I'm making, I'm doing these clips in advance to when I'm this, the clips of this video is go are going to be in is even being made if that makes any sense so i just knocked out that level 18 rex um and i looked over here with the visor on because i had that in the clip i was looking for things around here and all of a sudden i saw the head of a rex and then i looked at its level and this is a 174 so instead of waiting because I, I don't plan on doing the rex video that you're i don't plan on making the rex video that you're actually watching right now for a couple days um because i'm oh, server lag because i'm actually making the phyla video so I figured, let's just do... Let's just see if we can tame this thing up right now. Because I don't want it to 
the wander off. Ow! While I am doing my other stuff. So like I said, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a bit until I actually... Did I, did I actually get it? I think I did. It's gonna be a while. Sorry, I was struggling to talk there. I'm trying to... This is so hard to focus while doing this. Um... But yeah, because I have a lot of stuff to do. Like right now, like I just mentioned in that low level Rex taming thingy clip. I have a lot, I have a lot of thylas I'm taming up, and then I'm gonna probably do mutations. And so it's gonna be a little bit until I do the this Rex video that you're watching. So I figured I might as well knock this thing out while I have it right here, because it might disappear by the time I actually see it. Now I might as well go and head and do this just so I can be sure that it's not going to get out. So I don't want it to accidentally get away from me. So let's go ahead and put those down. And let's just sit right here and we'll knock it out. Alrighty, so she is all knocked out, which is a beautiful thing. Um, I don't, what are the odds that's a high level? Probably high considering this map is crazy. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you can't, you really can't make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, well, apparently I'm just making two videos at once. This is some next level arc gameplay right here. Only thing is that I'm really hurt. So this pro this guy's actually probably gonna kill me. Uh, let's just do No! <gasps> no! Where's he going? <laughs> it's just... uh... Oh god. I'm gonna die here. It's whatever though. Whoop! Oh like, I'm not even prepared to do this because I don't even have the behemoth gates. Ooh! Which would make it so much easier. Yeah, come back, come up here. Woo! Like, the server didn't respond. I could have got him right there. Come here. I mean... Might have got him. I think I did. Would not be surprised if he glitched out though. I had a Thyla in the video I'm making right now. The Thyla video, which is like, what, two videos ago or one video ago? It might have been the last video by the time you... Because I'm... I don't even know. This is like all sorts of crazy. I'm like, I have to like talk in advance. I have to talk it like... I oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Oh, right, well, I guess I got it. All right, so well, now I'm going to knock out this one. Alrighty, well, she just knocked out. This is just completely unexpected, but totally welcomed. <laughs> Two, I just tamed three Rexes. I think actually we can probably tame up this other one that's knocked out over here. Uh, there she is. So we have this one, which is a level 18, which we need for its low level stats. Um... There we go. Low level. So this was a 18, and it should come out as 19. Yep. So this is our low level one, which we will breed in the... It'll be the... Well, let's just... We can look at it. Where is it? This is low level, low level. So we'll breed in the weight... Not the weight, sorry. The uh, food, oxygen, and movement speed. So you can see movement speed has zero points in it, which is good. And I don't think that's just zero points like... 
all the time. Because if I look at it, oh, I don't want to look at it. Though. Let's look at this Rex. Yeah, you can see this Rex had 32 rolled into it. So this one actually has zero movement speed points, which is good. Because that'll keep the level of our really good Rex lower than it would be if we bred in the normal value, which actually, like a normal, like a high level Rex value, which if you look at this one, for example, has 32 levels in it. So that would raise the overall creature level. Um, so breed in movement speed, like I just said, oxygen and, st and food. And those will all keep the... Actually, I might not do food because I don't want the creature to starve. The Rex to starve, so I don't know about the food, but we'll definitely do, definitely do movement speed and oxygen because those are completely useless for the Rexes. And then we have these two, which, I mean, you, I mean, you saw what happened. Well, you saw what happened with the second one. The, that one I just saw his little head peeking up. Actually, it's probably. I don't remember. If I stopped recording. I don't know, but. So, I mean, we got two high-level Rexes. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to record me actually feeding them. But, I mean, you can see there's nothing around here. It's not going to be anything crazy. I'm just going to give them the kibble because I have all this, uh, all this extraordinary kibble on me for the thylas that I'm taming. What is that? Is that a moose? Oh, no, that's the RGA shot. Yeah, so I have the uh, the kibble on me to tame these guys, which is great. Um, There's not going to be like, there's not another Rex up here, is there? Those aren't thylas, right? Those are say er, wolves. All right. Well, this was just absolutely perfect. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna sit here and tame these things up. You guys enjoy whatever is going on in the rest of this video, which I think is just some more art or some not some more art taming, some more rex taming. All right. So you guys just saw all of the the rexes that I tamed. Well, not all of them, but you would have saw a good a good handful. You see, I think I don't remember how many you saw. This was like days ago that I did that, but. I tamed a whole bunch of Rexes, um, and I tamed some off camera as well, just like the Thylas. So if we come in this box and we type in Rex, here are some of the Rexes. I think the Rex, no, I did tame, tame more than 10. I don't remember how many I tamed, but you can see these are my unused Rexes. So all of these Rexes didn't have good stats that I wanted to use. So they stay, they go, they come in this box just like the Thylas. Those are all my Rexes and Thylas that I didn't use. Um, they didn't have desirable stats. But if I come over here to this chest, these are all my Rexes that did have good stats. And you can see, if you look at their names, you can see what stats they had. Now, of course, there's more in here, and I'll explain why there's more in a second. But you can see, like, this was the Rex with the best stamina, so I called it stamina. Now, here's the melee one. And then, like, there was, there might have been one, oh god, it's raining. There might have been a couple Rexes that had two or more of the best of like the best stats in different categories so like this one i don't actually know if this was the case uh actually it was because you can see it's not bread um it would say if it was bread like this one over here uh, it would say it's bread where does it say it's bread right there above the color section right next to base levels so this one had the best stats in health and food so it's so i named it h plus f for health and food and then all you do is you, I breed in all, I just keep breeding them until I get all the stats into two identical parents. So this is essentially all that, that process. These are all the Rexes that it took for me to get all the best stats and also the worst stats into two identical parents. Now, I just mentioned worst stats because if you remember in those clips I just showed you of me taming Rexes, I tamed a low level. And the purpose of that, and I, I also ruined its taming effectiveness, the purpose of that was to get a bad, to just get the worst stats possible. So I could breed in those worst stats for oxygen and weight, not weight, sorry, oxygen and movement speed, and that will bring down the overall level of the creature. Because if you have a high level creature, if you start if you're starting mutations with a high level creature, you when you when you mutate, you're adding levels on top of it. Now, if you keep adding mutations on it, like I plan on doing 60 mutations, 20 in health, 20 in stamina, 20 in melee, you're adding on a ton of levels on top of that already high level base creature that you're starting with. Now, if you if you hit the level cap and you exceed it, when you go to throw out that Rex from a cryopod or that creature, it's gonna get deleted. So you wanna try and maintain a low level start so you don't ever hit and run into that problem. So like, the, here's a, here was a, per, let me, no, no, let's look at this one. Here's a perfect male. You can see under, under oxygen, it only has three points. It's a 195. So that's a terrible stat. So it'll bring down the level of the creature and same with movement speed movement speed has zero uh it's the left side the right side of these numbers where you see like if you look at melee it says 43 hyphen zero the 
the zero is how many points you leveled. So if you go to this Rex in my inventory, this is kind of the Rex I use. I just keep around with me so I can kill stuff. You can see I have 36 points leveled into melee, but it started with 43 like it does right here. So movement speed has zero points rolled into it, which is what you want because you want it to be because movement speed isn't affected when you um when you get when it gets rolled into it when you tame it. So that's just bringing down its level. Now, if you saw the Thyla video, you know exactly the process of how I breed, of how I breed and raise them up. Hold up. All right, sorry, I just started burping like a madman for some reason. All right, but uh, if you like, I was just talking about. It. If you saw my Thyla video, you know exactly how I go about breeding, um, and mutating. And if you want an in-depth guide, watch Syntax. Syntax is who I watched. He's the only RQ tuber I've watched. So he, that's kind of I learned how to play this game from him, and I learned how to breed and mutate from him from his videos he's got two really good guides about how to breed and mutate he's got his first mutation guide which is definitely a little bit worse like it's not bad at, at, at any means um and i would definitely watch both of the videos because there might be something he might explain it a little bit differently in one video or the other and then might like resonate with you more so i'd watch both but he's got the, he's got two different ones one's a little older one's a little bit newer and uh once yeah the newest one's a little bit more polished in my opinion but they're both still great videos and that's basically the the process that i used right down here so let's do some explaining all right what's the best way to explain this so like i mentioned i breed for three stats how what the uh, <laughs> this looks weird I, i'm not i'm not gonna do that i breed for health stamina and melee that's what i'm looking for in my rexus and basically any creature um so that's why you see kind of three groups right here. So, like I said, you want to get all your stats into two identical parents, a male and a female. So, right here, in each of these groups, we have eight perfect females. You can see they're, you know, they're hitched up in their, in their spots. And what I do is, do I actually have an example to give you? Yeah, right here. As you can see, I take... Originally, I would start with a perfect male, and I would put him in the middle, right where you see that Rex. One, one us. And then I breed them. And I breed them until I get a mutation. In this case, for this Rex, this group is stamina. So once I got that mutation for stamina, I name him one stamina. So if I come down here, you can see on the perfect F, the stamina that I started with was 2268. You can see if I go here, there's zero, zero mutations. You can see this is like the this is the blood, this is what it took for me to get to this point. Um and that's why this is so many days after I actually recorded, because I had to get to this point, which takes time because um, on my server settings which are like really fast for breeding and raising and all that jazz it takes an hour for a rex so you, you saw all those rexes i had it, i mean each one of those takes an hour plus the time of breeding just to get the mutation it's just it takes a long time this doesn't this isn't something that happens real fast um it, and this happens way faster for me because i have my server setting cranked up so official i don't even know how you guys do this you guys are absolute freaks but I guess in a good way? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. So you can see that my perfect parents have zero mutations. We started with 2268 stam. And here is a one stamina mutation rex. This is, I just started mutating my rexes. So you can see we're at 2352. And right here, one mutation. So once I get that one mutation, I need to get in, get it into a male. So of course, the offspring, when, it's, when it gets mutated, is going to be either a male or a female. Preferably, you want a male because if it's a male, I can just slot it right back in here like I did with this one. But if you get, like, say, this one one stamina mutation landed on a female, what I do is I raise up the female. Let me make sure this guy's not actually dying. He shouldn't be. Let me check the feeding trough. Yeah, he's not dying. He's eating. So if, you get a, if it lands on a female, then what I have to do is I have to raise up the female until she's fully grown. And then I have to breed her with a perfect male. That way the mutation from the female will get slotted onto a male. Eventually, you have to breed until you get a male with the mutation, which takes, again, even more time. Then once you get, that, once you get the mutation on a male, you just slot him back in for the... Per well, in this case, it was the perfect M, but like... Once you breed him, okay, let's just do it. When I'm looking for, like, so when I'm looking for two stamina, I'll breed these guys, and I'm looking for just that second mutation. And once I get the two stam all the way raised up, I just slot him in for one us. And then you just, you literally just keep doing that until you get to wherever you want. So for me, it'll be 20. Hopefully, unless I change my mind. Uh, but now let me kind of explain the little, uh, like, how I make this, like, kind of automated. So, 
you breathe you breathe the creatures and phyrexes unlike the thylas if you watch the thyla videos the thylas are metal ma metals the thylas are mammals so they're not going to lay an egg like a rex would so you really don't need air conditioners but phyrexes they're, they are going to lay eggs so you need the eggs to hatch so you need to have the right climate so i have the air cons now if you're wondering how i have power to the air cons the generator is all the way over here now with s plus there's something called in internal wiring so i go to ingrams and type in wire you see internal wiring so that's why you don't see any crap floating around so i place the internal wires on the foundation so you can see right there the little lightning symbol that means there's a wire there like right here there isn't so i well there isn't <laughs> so you can see i'm running power i run power all the way straight across and then i have it branch off to the air cons over there which i don't even need because they're mammals and i think for the rexes they break off over here and then they come all the way down here. These air cons are right here because I needed them to be out of the way. Uh, I don't know. I might explain that in a second. But, uh, and then I come, I have them run. I have the wires run to each of the air conditionings. And then, it, let's see if I can find it right there. I have an outlet which powers air cons. Now, so that will hatch the eggs. Um, let me explain hitching posts. So, the Rexes... You can, so Rexes have two options if you want them to mate. You can either have them on, you can either have the mating option enabled, or you can have the wandering option enabled. So, why have them on wandering? Let's talk about it. If I have them on mating, they're not going to move around, but they're going to mate. But if I go to the other side of the map, or if I get out of these Rexes render range... Because I'm the only person on the server. As soon as I get away too far away from the, these rexes, they they'll unrender, basically meaning they're not going to be in, the, they're not going to be spawned. Um, they're not going to breed anymore because they're not rendered. So you need to keep them rendered in. So if I was only to be using that mating option when I like when I go to bed in real life, I would have to AFK here because if I log off the server, they're not going to be rendered in either. So I would have to AFK here because, like I said, this takes a long time. Like, it takes time to get mutations. It's not, it's, I don't know the, I don't remember the percent chance. I think it's 7% for a, for one mutation. And then it significantly, significantly decreases for, like, a double mutation or triple mutation. Um, but I think it's 7% for a single mutation. So you have to breed, like, you have to be, you have to breed a lot. And that's why we have eight females here. You have to breed a lot in order to get a mutation. So it takes, it takes a long time. Um, but... Yeah, so if you have them on mating, as soon as you leave the render range, they're going to unrender. They're not going to mate. So you want them to have them on wandering because when they're on wandering, they will always stay rendered in. I can go on the other side of the map. They'll stay rendered in, stay breeding. If I leave the server and nobody's on the server, they will still be rendered in because they're wandering. But what the problem with wandering is um, they're going to move around. So if you don't have a male and a female next to each other, they're not going to mate. So... S plus is something called a hitching post right here where you can hitch a dino to it. So if I throw down, let's just use this for example. So right here, I'll put down that Rex. I can hitch it and you can see it pops up right there. And as soon as I click it, a little leash will go to it or a lead, whatever it's called. And it is hitched. So I could have this on wandering like all those other Rexes are right there. So it's on wandering right now, but it's not going anywhere. But it still works. I could leave the server and it'll still be rendered in, which means it'll still mate. So... All the females are hitched, and the male will also be hitched. That way, I can have them rendered in at all times when I'm not on the server, when nobody's here on the server, and they'll still be breeding. So I can go do things in real life and have them breeding in the background, which is great. So, got that. We got all that explained. And then the egg hatches. I've explained that. The eggs hatch. And so now you have the eggs hatched, and you have a whole, you have eight baby Rexes just sitting here. So, what do you do? Am I going to go around and cryopod them? No. I'm going to have these things. This is part of the dino storage mod. These are soul terminals. And they use soul traps right here. And these things will pick up the rexes as soon as they hatch from their eggs. So, the air conditionings will incubate the eggs. They'll hatch. And then if I come here, you can see it's enabled. Anything in this blue bubble right there will be picked up by the soul terminal. So any Rexes in that area will be picked up 
Like I just, just, just said, by the soul terminal. And I have two soul terminals in each group. So uh, basically, I have two bubbles. If I enabled it on all the soul terminals, there would be a bubble there, a bubble here, and a bubble there. And none of the bubbles are overlapping because then I don't, then I can't keep the stack. Like, if, let me show you. Then I can't keep the stack straight because, like I said, each each of these groups is for a specific stat. So if I come here and I come to enable, you can see these bubbles won't touch. Granted, it doesn't matter. The bubble could come over here. I just can't have that bubble make it to where the baby rexes will be. Because then that those soul, those soul terminals will pick up those rexes. And I don't want that. So, any rexes in these bubbles would be picked up. And I can show you what it looks like when they do. Because I have some in here. So, this is what it'll look like. It'll start picking up the rexes. You can see, you can see when they're male and female. And let's see. What rex would I be looking for? So, what I would be looking for in here is a 222. A level 222 because every time you get a mutation it adds two levels if you get a double mutation it would add four levels so on and so forth so I, I usually only look for a single mutation because a double mutation I don't even know if it's possible to get the double mutation to land in only one stat um, so I always just look for for a single mutation so let's let's like let's go ahead and do that so I would look for a 222 and there's nothing here I would go over to the other one look for a 222 and right here we have a mutation. So now we check the actual stats for if we got a mutation in the stat we, we want. Because you can get mutations in the stat you, you don't want. Uh, it's actually more likely that you won't get it in the stat that you... It's more likely that you'll get it in a stat that you don't want. Um, so like I said, this just takes a ton of time. So right now I'm going for Stam. So I let me look at my notes because I don't actually... Uh, I got my little notepad next to me. So for my stamina rex, I'm looking for a mutation over 2352. Because my one stamina right here is 2352. So it needs to be more than 2352. How many times can I have to say 2352? So come back in here. 222. You can see the stamina is 2352 and stamina is 2352. So the melee, they're not the melee, the mutation la landed in something other than stamina. So essentially, I don't care about it. So. Okay, yeah, so, but this also shows you other cool things, like the color regions, so you can see, whenever you get a, whenever you get a mutation, you get a stat mutation and a color mutation, whether you see the color depends on the creature, because different creatures only, there's six different color regions, I think, and, well, you can see right there, three, four, five, six, yeah, each creature has six color regions, but not all of those color, color regions will show, I think Rexes have three color regions, so you have like a 50% chance, that the color mutation is going to land in a region that is visible if that makes sense hopefully it does i'm not i'm really not i'm not trying to go i'm not trying to make a guide because there's people out there that understand this way more and way better than i do and they have amazing videos like i just mentioned syntax does so watch their video instead of me just rambling about this if you're trying to learn i'm just trying to explain it so you have some sort of idea of what i'm doing so it also shows you that. So that's why I love this mod. This mod is amazing for uh, breeding and mutating. It makes it so much easier. Um, but yeah, so you can see I have my mutations. There's nothing nothing here that I want. Everything is trash. So to make sure these things, don't, the soul terminals don't fill up because they only have a slot cap of 300, I need to delete them. Boom. So it just killed off all the babies. And it also gives you experience for doing this because you're essentially killing these creatures. So that's why I'm max level because I've, I've killed... I don't know, I might have even killed thousands of Rexes at this point. But I've killed hundreds, if not thousands, of Rexes and Thylas. So I'm already max level. Or, well, I'm 105, it's not max level. I think max level is now, like, what, 180? I don't know, it's, it's super high. But I need to do other stuff to, in order to increase my level cap. So, that's why I have so much experience now. It's just because I'm breeding and mutating stuff. So I'm getting a ton of uh, XP by killing off the unneeded creatures. But that's essentially the process. Um... Hopefully, it's probably super confusing, but like I said, go watch like Syntax video. This is basically his method. Um, actually, I think this is his like exact method. It might be a little bit different, but I mean, it's it. I learned how to do all this from him. So if you watch, if you watch it, you watch his guides, you should be able to understand it pretty well. But yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, I like these videos might be these past two videos might be well, I don't know if it's the past two. The Thyla video and this Rex video might be a little bit confusing because I recorded them in a weird order. Like I'm doing this, like I recorded this intro and the outro 
days after I recorded the meat of the video when I was actually taming the Rexes. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's just, I don't know. It's all sorts of confusion. It's all sorts of confusing, but yeah, I'm going to call it here for this video guys. Cause I, like I just said, I have no idea how long, holy crap. I've been talking for 20 minutes for just the outro. No, this was the intro and not the outro. Yeah, see, I'm all sorts of confused. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, so that's why I'm just going to end it here. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to drop it a like. It helps me out a ton. If you didn't, there's always that dislike button. Um, if you want to see more co art content from me or just content from me in general, feel free to subscribe. You know how that all works. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to grow the YouTube channel, so any of those... Uh, what? Subscriptions? That sounds weird to say it like that. Any of you subscribers out there, I just I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.